Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, uh, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online, of course, at La Beach Hotel. And this, uh, this morning, I, I, I want to just uh, capture my thoughts with the words, blame it on the rain. Blame it on the rain. You know, I'm looking at uh, the story of David and Bathsheba very carefully. You remember when... Um, um, and this one can be taken from Psalm uh, 51. You know, when David uh, was approached, the story is in Second Samuel, but the, the principle is in uh, Psalm 51. Now, David had messed up with Bathsheba, and David had committed murder with, uh, uh, with Bathsheba. He had killed Bathsheba's husband, and you know, all those other things. But there's one thing that happened. When confronted with his fault by Nathan the prophet, and uh, in David's prayer, I thought he was going to say, you know what, God, I, I'm, uh, we are sorry. You know, I didn't do it alone. I did it with Bathsheba. And you know, Bathsheba was when I called her uh, in the course. She should have told me that she was married and all of the other things. And then, I mean, uh, David was just, uh, but he did the opposite. Look at what he said. He said, I have sinned against you. David said, yeah, Bathsheba was a partaker of it, but leave her out of it. Bathsheba was part of it because it takes two to tango in such a way. In an amorous relationship like that, it takes two to tango. But David said, I bear responsibility. I bear responsibility. You know what? Sometimes we need to take responsibility for the things that we do. Leave others out. Forget about what others did. You know? One of the things that uh, we may say every negative thing about him, but he did something that really, really, I said to myself, wow, that is a statement of principle. You know, in the, in the, uh, this thing, uh, May Uprising, when uh, Flight Ret Lieutenant Rawlins was uh, caught and all those things, he was arrested and all those things, at the military tribunal, did you see what he said? He said, nobody else is responsible. I take full responsibility. I and I alone. But there were others who were involved. There were others that he talked about. There were others who aided or abetted. But he said, I take full responsibility. Oh, well, I wish that sometimes, instead of bringing in other people to come and take the bum rap for us, we can take full responsibility. Don't blame it on the rain. Blame it on you. Blame it on you. Don't blame it on the boogie. Blame it on you. Why don't you take full responsibility for some of the things that you do? Leave those other people out. It's within us and God. And that was what David said. He said, against you and you only have I sinned. And I've done this evil in thy sight. So he said, listen, others were party to it. Yes, I made Job arrange for the death of uh, uh, Uriah. I made Job arrange. I mean, the captains arranged. They were all part of it. It was a conspiracy for the death of Uriah. But here's the point. It was I, this thing, uh, Bathsheba and I did it once, not once, but many times. So here's the point. You get it? And, and, and here's the thing. We did it. But I take full responsibility. Leave others out and take full responsibility. That is a sign of, 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 of integrity. That is a sign of courage. That is a sign of a leader. He said, I am responsible for it. Leave the others out. Let me take full responsibility for it. So you know what? You can blame it on the rain for all the rest of your life. But you need to come to a place, you need to take the bum rap by yourself. Don't blame it on the rain. Blame it on you. See you later.